Are you a good sport? Sometimes. Uh, thank you for agreeing to meet with me here. You have a wonderful home. Oh, thank you. Thank you. We've been working on it for years. All right. This is the kind of card adults should be using. Can I have that back, actually? That's outdated. I'm video producer now. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you're making a Magic the Gathering game? We are. Is it like Gathering of the Juggalos? It is nothing like that. Is this game free to play? Yes, it is. Is it good? It's really good. Oh. That's nice. <laughs> How is this game like the card game? You're going to have spells that you cast in a random fashion. Feels very much like a digital interpretation of the card game, but not actually a card game. How many cards per deck? Twelve. Would you ever budge on that with an update or with a new class? Long enough timeline, anything's possible. Can you guys make a game based on Hearthstone next? We have to ask Blizzard. Yeah. They'd probably say no, <laughs> but maybe. What's the deepest cut in this game for fans? I can't say, but it goes all the way back to like the first year of magic. Are you gonna have any references to the butt crack guy? The guy who took pictures next to all those butt cracks at that Ma Magic the Gathering event? No comment. Okay. <laughs> Officially he was like banned. It was like a huge thing. <laughs> <laughs> right. How was the name chosen? Because there's already a Magic the Gathering set called Legends. Is it kind of a Call of Duty Modern Warfare thing? Just throw it out there again. There were a lot of options, a lot of back and forth and uh, everyone from both teams kind of decided that that was the name that fit the best. How's this for magic? Not great. I was hoping a dove would fly out or something. Uh, maybe next time. What's the one way to play the game that's just completely broken and everybody's going to play it that way? I don't know if I should say. You can tell me. <laughs> you won't tell anybody else? These cameras aren't rolling. I think once people kind of really understand the different spells for their decks, I don't know, I think a sorcery heavy deck with a couple of strong heavy summons actually might carry the day. Uh, where's the Feldegriff at? I didn't see him in our play session. Doesn't mean he's not there. Look, watching over us. He was behind you the entire time. Oh. Will there be a mulligan mechanic? TBD. Difficulty modes? Yes. Will rewards scale with difficulty? Absolutely. In some ways, the difficulty would be customizable beyond just straight modes. That would also impact rewards. But the specific modes you could switch at will? At will. Is poison a mechanic you can translate from the TCG to Magic Legends? Pretty easily, yeah. Will you be? Yes. What creature would you marry if you had the chance? I'll go with the Sarah Angel. Why? Am I attracted to so many of these foul beasts? I feel like you're a black magic person at heart. Thank you. You're welcome. Would you ever have the player's mana cap increase over the course of a level, like in the TCG? From a mission to mission standpoint, it's possible. Can you catch people up on the 26 years of story in Magic the Gathering in one sentence? It's been magical. It's been dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. In I've one caught sentence. Up. Yeah, okay. you've got to. You've got to. Will I be able to turn all the creatures I'm fighting into elks? Maybe. What's the best Magic the Gathering game besides this one? Magic Arena. How do you guys get the cards in the computer? Because I get how you get them out, you just print them, but how do you get them back in for the game? It's tough. Typically a blender and a straw. Smart. Yeah. Who would win in a fight between a Sarah Angel or a Sengir Vampire? I'd give it to the Vampire. Well, they're both 4-4 four, four flying creatures. So. Sure. I think he'd be able to pull it off. He has the will to win. Okay. Can you rotate the camera? Yes, you can. Do you have to be online to play at all times? Yes, you do. Do you really think you're free? I'm free? Yeah. Close enough to it. If you're so free, why don't you walk out of this interview right now? Because I want to be here. That's what I thought. Yeah. How do you unlock new cards? By playing through missions, by completing challenges, uh, by doing kind of your uh, class and overall progression, you unlock new cards all the time. How do you upgrade cards? By collecting copies of those cards off of drops, by replaying missions, you'll be collecting copies of cards and upgrading cards and collecting new cards all the time. Did you consider any other names for the shards you use to upgrade cards? I may I suggest chards. Chards? I'll bring that back to the team. That sounds fantastic. What's the best color in Magic? <sighs> best because it's the worst, blue. Describe your favorite deck you've built in Magic Legends so far. Red, green. You can get some big chonker, like green uh, summons and some big red rock summons. Zero healing, all buffs, making creatures gigantic, just keeping those guys alive and doing damage yourself. It's a very active deck. Red, green, great combination for the holidays. Absolutely. What's the plan for post-launch support? The kind of support that Cryptic's known for. Uh, a bunch of regular events and updates uh, running almost every week, and then major updates multiple times throughout the year, holiday events. Uh, the goal is to keep the game jumping at all the time. If you could have a Pokemon card be a magic card instead, which would it be? I think Charizard would fit pretty well. Yeah, would he be a red? He would be red. Probably. Yeah. Yeah, maybe red black. It gets a little aggro. Oh, uh, what's your life total at? I try to keep it at 20. Me too, man. Yeah. How many cards are in this game at launch? A lot. Double digits, triple digits? Triple digits. How many classes? Planeswalkers, rather. A good number. Triple digits? Someday. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> yeah. Did you look into getting this guy to do the art directing in your game? He wasn't available. You can't book that guy. Yeah, he seems busy.
super busy. Who is your favorite Planeswalker? I'm a big fan of uh, Ral Zarek. He has a cool power set, and uh, he was pretty cool in the uh, War of the Sparks book that just came out. What three magic cards would you own if price were not a factor? Three copies of Black Lotus. Yeah, honestly, and then you sell them. And then you sell them, because price isn't a factor when you get them. That's Later. pure profit. Pure profit. Is Nicole Bolas in the game? No. If he was in the game, would he look like he did at first? We'd have no choice. Yeah. That's the way he has to look. The iconic look. The, that's the iconic look. When everyone thinks Nicol Bolas, that is what they think about. <laughs> exactly. What do you lose for dying in this game? Nothing. Nothing. No progress? Would that change based on modes or modifiers? Or is it that could, kind of across the board? It could change based on difficulty mode. We're still evaluating how that would work. But right now, you don't lose anything. A little bit of pride. <laughs> yeah. What's the plan for monetization? There will be some. What systems will it be on? PC, Xbox One, and PS4. All right. Kid gloves are coming off. You're in the hot seat. Okay. Are goblins real? They might be. Who are the wizards of the coast? They do magic and shit? They do. They do. They hang out in these caves in Seattle, drinking coffee, coming up with amazing ideas, and turning them into world-renowned franchises. It's pretty amazing. In January 2014, Hasbro announced a franchise film deal with Magic the Gathering, planning to launch a franchise on the scale of Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings. Mm -hmm. Do you think that was successful? We'll see when it comes out. Disney bought Fox this year and canceled a bunch of projects, including Magic the Gathering. Are you excited for WandaVision on Disney Plus? Yes. How are these for some magic legends? Dwight Howard, Shaquille O'Neal. I don't think they're magic legends, but they are legendary centers in the NBA. And they played on the magic. They played on the magic, yeah. Yeah, it was kind of, it's very cerebral. A little bit. These jokes. Yeah, highbrow. Yeah. Is there PvP? Yes. How seriously are you taking that aspect? Is there going to be ranked or team modes, anything like that? TBD. The paper game is only a PvP game, so it's something that we kind of have to take seriously. How's this for magic? Also terrible. What's the end game like? Exciting, engaging, deep, present at launch. My favorite kind. Atypical. What's the end of this video like? Exciting, engaging, deep, present at launch.